Welcome to You Are Limitless, the daily podcast for those looking to transform their body, improve their mindset, and live the life they have always wanted. Learn the strategies needed to create positive emotions and consistent lifestyle habits that will allow you to kick life's ass on a daily basis. With your host, Sam Gibson, the founder of Limitless Training and Nutrition. Tune in to follow in the footsteps of over 200 people who have successfully leveled up their bodies and souls in the last 12 months. You are limitless. Yo! You are Limitless Podcast with me, Sam Gibson. I've just watched the uh, the last episode in the season of uh, of Rick and Morty. If uh, if any of you haven't watched Rick and Morty, you fucking need to. It is unbelievable, unbelievable. But anyways, it's not a podcast about Rick and Morty. Um, I'm just chilling out for the night. Finished me work and day. Watched a little bit of telly. Um, and I've just decided to to nail this, you know, because I think it's it's an important thing that uh. That I want to get out there. So I'm talking to um one of my friends, one of my good friends and clients actually, not so long ago, a few days ago, and he was telling telling us the misfortune of the fact he turned up to work the other the other week, and he was told that he no longer has a job and that his company's closing down where he worked at. You know, so I'd say it's very it's very hard to hear. You know, and uh, and I was I was talking to him about it. You know, and I said, look, how do you feel about it? You know, what's what's your plans? You know, because I was a little bit it's concerning. You know, when your friend. You know, and one of my clients as well says something like that because you can think, like, what can be the negative ramifications from that? So I was basically just saying, look, how how do you feel about it? You know, what's the what's the plan going forward? What we're going to do? What are you going to do? And uh, at first he, he said, uh, well, I asked him how he felt, first of all. And he says, at first I felt a little bit disempowered, a little bit down, a little bit depressed. I mean, obviously... You've just been told your your financial stability's gone and that you have to look for another job and that you have to change something. And that is a very overwhelming feeling. That is a very overwhelming feeling for, for any of us to feel because it's it's going to force you to react. It's going to force you to change. It's going to force you to take action now. So at first, my friend was saying, oh, I felt a bit down, I felt a bit scared, you know, all those kind of feelings, which is the usual reaction any one of us would have. But that, but the second time, you know, I asked, well, how, what do you want to do? What you, what's your plans? He said, I actually feel a lot better now because he said something that was very, 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 uh, very thought provoking. You know, it's it. It said it's he's he's forced to take action now. You know, it's it. He's ready to do something else, and he was seeing it in a positive light. You know, which is fantastic, and that's a, that's the thing I'm trying to say. Any time something happens to you in life, whether that be you've lost your job whether that be you've had a relationship breakdown or you're in a new relationship or, um, I don't know, you move to a new town. You know, maybe you have to leave home, you're going to university and you're, and you're in a brand new situation, you've never experienced this before. There's, there's two ways you're going to react. There's only one of two ways. You're either going to be very scared, you're going to be fearful of what might happen and you're going to start to convince you that you don't want, to be, you don't want yourself to be in this situation, that you'd rather be where you were before. Or you're going to say it like this, wow, this is fucking exciting. I am going to experience things that I've never experienced before. Yeah, And that is the way you have to see these things. That is the way you have to see situations which are thrust upon you. Just like my friend who's lost his job, obviously his first instinct is, shit, I'm out of my comfort zone now. That blanket's gone. I've got no financial stability. I've got no plans. What do I do? Most people, they stay in that zone. You know, and that's what stops them from progressing their life because they're fearful of the unknown. They're fearful, fearful of what might happen. But what might happen doesn't actually exist, does it? It's a fucking drama show that you've created inside your own head. It's not real. It's not reality. Yeah, you're fearful of something that doesn't even exist, something that you create and something that you think might happen. But might doesn't mean will. Yeah, the only way to 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 make things that will happen is to create them through your own actions. Yeah. So, I just thought it was a very thought-provoking conversation, you know, um, with this friend of mine who at first was down about the situation, but then he spun this light on it by saying, you know, it's exciting, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be forced to do something else. I have to cha- I have to take action. You know, and he was excited about it. I told him it's the first day of the rest of your life now. You can go and do anything you wanted, you know. That's exciting shit. That is exciting shit if you choose to say it that way. If you choose to believe your initial thoughts of Oh my God, what am I going to do? 
go panic mode, go depressed mode, go victim mode, then it's not going to benefit your life, is it? It's not going to make you feel good for a start because you're choosing to believe your disempowering thoughts, which if you choose to believe your thoughts, you bring yourself pain, you bring yourself stress, or you can choose to see beyond that and think, wow, this is exciting. I'm going to experience new things that I've never done before. I'm going to experience new people that I've never met before. You know, and you're going to live scenarios out that you've never experienced. You know, that's amazing. That is exciting. So what I'm trying to say is just because something happens to you or a situation comes along where you now have to dramatically change your life, you, you have to do something that's different now because the times have changed, the situation around you has changed. Don't see it as a negative thing. Because if you see it as a negative thing and you choose to believe your thoughts, you are just going to experience emotions you don't want to experience. You're going to create a state of mind that's going to leave you feeling miserable and fearful and scared, mainly of the unknown, mainly of the unknown, which, like I've said before, doesn't actually exist. You created that inside your head. You created the unknown. So if you're fearful of something that doesn't exist, what are you really doing to yourself? You know, why can't you be hopeful of something that might exist, something that will exist because you're going to experience new things? It's the first day of the rest of your life in this situation. You can go out there, you can do anything you want to do. You can be anyone you want to be now. Yeah, that is exciting. So next time something happens in your life, it doesn't have to be a new job. I was just using that as an example. Next time something dramatically changes in your life, instead of being fearful of change, and what might happen, and drive yourself crazy with all these fucked up scenarios that you think might happen but probably never will, but what actually stops you from doing the shit needed to progress your life, start thinking positively. Fuck that, don't start thinking positively, just start doing positively. Plant the seed by thinking positively, but then just start taking actions on a daily basis and start having it with the, the mindset of, this is all new, this is exciting, I'm going to do things I've never done before, and that's amazing. That's all I've got for you today, I'll see you on the other side.